Hey guys, welcome back to a DxO a quick tip. And uh, actually, this is more of a conversation than a quick tip. Today, we're discussing uh, highlight and shadow detection within DxO. Now, DxO has its own little highlight and shadow detection. You can see it over here in the left meter. You can turn it on and off here. Uh, and it has shortcuts as well. However, as I play with DxO, I'm noticing its tolerance for highlights and shadows seem to vary, especially highlights, not so much the shadows, but it seems to vary from uh, other programs. For instance, if I were to switch it over to Luminar, uh, the highlight detection lights up uh, much quicker than we will see here in DxO. Anyways, let's get to it. For shadow uh, detection, we are going to use the shortcut Control uh, B. You can hear me looking at my notes here. And if you hit uh, Control B, I'm going to go ahead and bring these shadows down so we can hopefully see them. And uh, let's just bring those shadows way down. Oh, make sure I uh, see up here at left hand corner, make sure it's on. So Control B, you can see I just turned it on. If I hit Control B again, it will turn it off. So Control B, shadows on. And if we raise our shadows, you can see we can look at the bottom lower of the screen, that blue. You can see it as I raise the shadows. That all starts to clear up. Pretty self-explanatory. Control B again, and you can turn that off. Now let's talk about the highlight detection. This is where it kind of has me scratching my head. I'm going to blast the highlights here to 100. Now I did the same thing in Luminar 4, and nothing was blowing out. There was there was no problem with with the highlights. Uh, to the shortcut for the highlight detection in DxO is by the way Control W. Nice way to remember that is Control B, black, Control B, so hot shadows, Control W, white, so lights. So Control W should be highlight detection. And you can see with Control W on, it's nothing is blowing out. I'm gonna start to move the exposure up and we'll see when we start to see. At 0.58, I think, in Luminar, it started to show some blowing out here. And we'll make sure that Okay, now it's on. You can see if I zoom in here, you can see the highlight detection is starting at 0.96 to show a bit of blowing out in the water there. I'm just going to keep moving it up. And now we're seeing the highlight detection kick in. I can't be sure if the if the numbers are the same, you know, if, if the calibration is the same in Luminar between DxO. So we're at 2.26 on our exposure and we're starting to see, there we go. We're starting to see it start to blow out to 176. And now things are really starting to blow out. But yeah, 226, things really start to blow out. But uh, anyways, there is a difference that I can tell. There is definitely a difference between where Luminar would uh, detect uh, clipping and where DxO is detecting clipping. Uh, something to play with, something to look at. Once again, Control W, you can turn off that highlight detection, and Control B uh, would turn on your shadow detection, and we can bring our shadows down and, well, we'd have to bring our exposure down, way down, to get some shadow clipping here. And there you see the shadow clipping. Anyways, that is uh, shortcuts for highlight clipping and shadow clipping within DxO. See you in the other day.